Welcome back to Hapag Gaming Tutorials Volume 2. I'm Fallen Frog, and this time we're going to go over dynamic text fields. Okay, so what we are going to do, uh, we are going to take our scene that we've created uh, here in OBS, and we are going to add a countdown timer so that uh, we can start the timer, and then once it's ready, once the timer countdown counts down to zero, it'll display a message and then we can hit the gameplay scene and go live with our gameplay. Uh, that's what we're going to be doing. Uh, we're going to be using a dynamic text field to do that. Uh, it's really simple, it's really easy, but it does require one small program. Uh, you, there's a number of them available. The one that we are going to use today is called Snaz. Uh, it's what I've been using on my channel. It works flawlessly, it works great. Uh, and it's pretty simple. It's it's a small program that uh, basically saves different variables to text files, and then you all you do is point to those text files within OBS. So uh, it might show the current time. It just might save the current time into a text file. You pull that file, that information into OBS, and then you can display the current time on your stream, and it will constantly update as long as you have SNAS open. So what you're going to need to do is download SNAS. Uh, you can get it from this website, uh, from this website at jimmyappelt.be uh, slash preview slash SNAS. Download it, run the installer, get it installed on your system, uh, and then you'll be good to go. Now I do want to also mention that where we left off with our scene, I haven't done anything else too drastic to it. The only thing I've done is changed our getting started scene uh, so that it, it matches our be right back screen. Uh, I wanted to keep things in, in sort of the same theme, so that's what I've done uh, instead of using the, uh, the, the green tunnel that we had set up in the, in the last lesson. Uh, that's actually from my personal channel, so I just wanted to show that you could use animations, um, but you don't have to. It, it's really personal preference, as always. But, so I wanted to keep things in the same theme, so that's what we're doing. <clears throat> but now we're ready to begin, so uh, once you've got SNAS downloaded, you've installed it, uh, go ahead and open it. I have it right here on my taskbar, so I'm going to open that. Uh, and this this is SNAS. Uh, it's really small, it's harmless. So here's what, here's what we're working with. Uh, we can see on the first tab, uh, it's got a section for time, uh, and then we have date, and then we have uh, countdown to specific time. So, uh, if we wanted to show the current time on our stream, we could do that with this, and we could even change the, the output of that. So we could have it say current time, uh, the time is, you know, anything we wanted to, uh, and then we would just plug in these variables, which SNAS will update in the background, and it will plug in the current time. So we can see that current PC time, it is saying is 16.09 and eight seconds. Uh, if we copy this to the clipboard, that's all we got to do is just click copy. It's going to copy this file path. This file path is on my PC. That is where the text file that we need is stored. So uh, what we do is we come over to OBS. We're going to add a text source. And we're going to name this one current time. Name our text current time. Uh, and now we can go in and change what our text will look like and what it'll say. So uh, I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and choose my reddish color here. I'm going to bring it down a little bit. Uh, I'm going to use an outline. I'm going to use a white outline uh, like we are over here. And then instead of entering the text down here at the bottom, you can you know of course put whatever you want there. We're going to skip that and we're going to use text from file. So now we have a browse button so we can browse to anything on our computer. So if you've got an essay from third grade that you want to show on stream, you can point to it as long as it's on your computer. But all we have to do is we've copied our path to the clipboard. So we come over here, paste that, hit OK, and you will see that we now have the time. Uh, so it shows the time. It is apparently in military time. but there it is. Uh, we can, of course, you can always fine tune these and tweak these so it doesn't have to be military time if you don't want to. Uh, 
you know, there's full customization, and SNAZ isn't the only program that does this. There's a whole number of programs. Uh, later on, we'll be getting into Twitch alerts and uh, for notifications for followers and donations. Uh, when we do that, there is also a standalone program just like SNAZ that Twitch alerts put out uh, that will update. Instead of being just time and countdowns, uh, it offers you know your follower list, the, the latest people who have followed your channel or donated, uh, how much time you've been streaming since that session, all, a whole number of things. So there's really a lot of room to, uh, to play around with this. But So here's our current time. Uh, if we wanted to leave that up here, we could do that. Uh, we could put it, I would say, probably up here for now. Uh, what we're going to do, I said we were going to do a countdown, though. So if we, you know, there's a couple of different tabs here in SNAZ that we can use. Uh, so we've got time and date on the first tab. Uh, let's go over to Chronos. Uh, this is Chrono Down and Chrono Up. So we can count up to something if we wanted to do a count up towards maybe a raffle or something you know we could do that uh, or we could do a countdown to a raffle giveaway we could do that at a specific time if we wanted to so you know we already measure the time uh, we could say at you know 1800 hours we're gonna do a giveaway uh, and then you can even have that play a sound when that time shows up so it reminds you but we're gonna go into chronos and we're gonna do a countdown from five minutes so uh, and this is the output it's gonna do so you know hours, minutes, seconds, uh, and then it has live output here, and then message when done. So uh, our countdown, when our countdown is ran, and when it's finished, it, it'll say a message, and ours will, ours will say let's start. But you can have it say whatever you want, you can put whatever you want in there. So uh, at first, let's just so we can generate a link, let's hit start. It's going to start our countdown. Uh, we're going to copy this to our clipboard. So copy, and then let's come back over here to our OBS, let's add a source, let's add text, this one's going to be countdown, hit OK, uh, and then we can of course change the font, change the, you know, change the color, anything like that, uh, just going to quickly just do this in red, uh, do my outline, uh, because we want everything to kind of look, uh, you know, you want it to look like it all belongs together if you're using a certain theme, so uh, point to our text file. Well, that's easy. We'll just control V, paste that right there. Uh, hit OK. And then it threw it up here in the top top left corner, but that's okay. Uh, we can resize this. So we have we have a countdown timer. Now I personally don't care for the the time being right here. So uh, you know it's already served its purpose. I've shown you guys how easy it was to to have that added. So we can remove that now. There we go. So we've got our uh, stream starting soon. We've got our countdown timer. Uh, so if we went live, and you know, you would want to go live and then start your timer, because uh, now we've got the the text file already plugged in here. It's already plugged in, and saved as a source. So next time we opened OBS, it would still already be here. The timer wouldn't be running until you start it in SNAZ. So you can stop the timer. Uh, it won't show up. It won't be there. And then, so you can go live, stream starting soon, and then when you're ready to start your timer, just hit start, or hit, you can hit F9, your countdown shows up, and then your viewers will know, hey, I've got five minutes before this guy, you know, starts playing games. So, uh, there's something you can do there. Uh, I'm going to show you one more thing uh, as we <clears throat> come over to our Be Right Back image. And OBS is apparently, uh, let me see if this fixes it. Uh, it's apparently took away our gameplay on our Be Right Back image, but there, it's back. So uh, we fixed that. Let me get Snaz back over here. Uh, we're going to do another thing that is text line changers. So uh, we're, we can have random bits of text that show up uh, as we want. So first things first, let me. Uh, let me add a new source. We're going to add a source. Uh, it's going to be a text, and this one is going to be social media. So this is just another example of how you guys can use these custom text fields uh, during your streams. So let me change the font real quick. 
because we want it to look good and we'll drop this down uh, we'll use the outline and we'll go with white again uh, hit OK now we're gonna use text from file uh, I'm gonna bring this over here though for a minute and we're gonna go back to snaps because we don't have a link yet we don't have anything put in here so on this third tab text line changer extended uh, what we're gonna do is just come down to this box and we're gonna add some text uh, and then this is gonna be the text that shows up uh, but what it's gonna do is we're gonna add a couple of lines of text and it's gonna alternate between them so uh, we're gonna have one that says follow me on Twitter and of course you could throw your Twitter Twitter handle in there throw your link in there uh, we're gonna click the paste or the plus and it's gonna throw it up in here into our into our list so now we're gonna add another one like me on Facebook so here's another one and then we hit plus so now we've got two and it's gonna alternate between those when we set that into OBS uh, we're gonna do one more which is subscribe to me on YouTube which you would probably want to put your names on here um, I'm just throwing these on here for now because it's it's just general uh, last one I'm gonna add one more don't forget to follow so and we hit plus and we add that so we've got four different four different things here different examples of uh, you know social media links we are going to copy this to our clipboard uh, we can see that the line will switch every five seconds so every five seconds it's going to rotate out and do a different one uh, once we hit start so we'll hit start it generates our link for us it creates it's basically creating that text file so we'll hit copy to clipboard we'll come back over to OBS and we are going to paste that in hit OK and there we go let's go ahead and bring this down here uh, we can of course play with you know play with the font uh, make you know try to make this make this look a little bit better by going into properties oh, that, there's a reason I didn't use the the right the right font so there we go um, I also want this to update every five seconds is a little fast so we just change that up there to 10 seconds and you can see that it's fixed itself uh, I'm gonna go into properties and change our font size just a little bit I'm gonna go down to uh, we're gonna take it down to 30 so we have follow me on Twitter uh, it'll rotate out it'll say like me on Facebook you know and it'll just keep going through the whole list so uh, that's one way you can do it so and then obviously we've got be right back here so we'll just keep this right up here uh, and then over here later on we'll implement our twitch chat so so that while we're on break you know our viewers can be chatting and they'll be able to see that on screen so uh, that's pretty much it you guys that's how easy it is to uh, do custom dynamic text fields of course uh, if you have any text files that are saved onto your hard drive and you want to point to those and have your own whatever it is that you want to throw in there uh, by all means you can do that as well uh, this is just merely the tip of the iceberg so uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this uh, thanks for watching and I will see you next time Hey, before you go, if you want to see the previous video I did where I covered scenes and sources in OBS, you can check that out right up there. And if you want to see more of me, click on Fallen Frog right over here. Thanks for watching, everybody, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.